I mean, we all want to see Floyd get beat. That's, we all want to see Floyd get beat because that will be the day that we can all go, ha ha, finally. But he's never yeah. going to get beat because he's too good and now he just picks his fights. Exactly. And he's meant to be and fighting he's... Logan Paul next. Mayweather. What, well, Mayweather's supposed to be fighting Logan Paul? Yeah. Yeah. So Logan Paul hasn't even won a fight against... No. Um, was it KSI? Yeah. I how do I know this? And not like... <laughs> <laughs> this is really the real know. deal. The real sports one, but I know these ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I, well, I think it's just because it's the media coverage and just just always over YouTube and shit. And being as we're on YouTube, you see it quite frequently. Yeah, but like he's been beaten by a guy twice that isn't an actual boxer. Right, he's KSI doesn't that, know what he's doing. I'm sure they both train very hard, but they're not real boxers. Yeah, they're both in like tremendous shape. Like you know. I, I look like I just a like a slab of meat next to the pair of them two, but um, people are actually giving Logan Paul a chance because he's about five six inches taller than Mayweather. I mean, there's a yeah. big size difference there, but let's be honest: if you can't punch him, you're not going to knock him out. No. And then, and then you've got his is it Logan Paul's brothers challenging McGregor? Yeah, uh, no, Jake Paul is fighting Ben Askren. Do you know who Ben Askren is? I've not even heard of that name. So Ben Askren, was, he's, he's a mixed martial artist for a long time. He wasn't in the UFC, but he was considered one of the best in the world because he was fighting in Japan and Bellator and other places, and he, he was undefeated everywhere in the world. And then he, he But he's a wrestler. He's not a striker. He out-wrestles right. people. He has a, his nickname's Funky because he has a funky wrestling style, and he is very confusing to fight against. Came to UFC, won his first fight in a controversial manner, uh, he kind of got thrown around, but then got it, got the guy in a bulldog choke. And yeah. the guy went out, I think. And then the referee stopped it. And then the guy was like, oh, I'm not out. So that was a bit of a controversial start. And then his second fight in the UFC, um, you've probably seen the clip of Masvidal hitting the flying knee straight out of the gates. Yes, yes, I have seen that. That yet. was against Ben Askren. That was his second fight in the UFC. Right. And uh, I was like, oh, hey, you want to come fight in the UFC? Here you go. And Masvidal absolutely killed him. And then <laughs> he had one more fight against a jiu-jitsu guy. He got choked out and then he retired. Yeah. So now this guy, who's a wrestler, is now going to box Jake Paul. Oh, bloody hell. Which is a really hard Jake, one to call. Because Jake Paul, um, he's undefeated in his little like YouTube fights. Yeah, sure, he's 2-0 and o against people who aren't boxers. However... yeah. He's a lot... No, he's got to be against a legit fighter like this guy. It's, but it's... again, it's it's one of the things. The thing is, though, if he's so, how has this guy gotten on in UFC? Like, is he fucking tearing it around? No, he retired. He's retired from it now. Yeah, he, he lost those two fights, and he was like, "That's enough for me." Okay, because he, so he's he... not so. So he's not somebody that can adapt to other fighting styles easily. Well, he's a bit older. He was going to retire before he came to the UFC, and then he ended up coming in this weird trade for Demetrius Johnson. How old is he? Uh, he's he's got to be late thirties. Late thirties. Yeah, and his striking has you never been great. It, it sounds like it sounds like that that Jake Paul might have a chance then. It really does because the last fight he he fought an NBA player. NBA player, still a top-level athlete. He's not a boxer, but still a top-level athlete. And he floored him. He knocked him the fuck out. Have you seen that one? I haven't seen Nate it. Robinson. Nate Robinson's coming watched. towards him. He throws this overhand right, and he just fucking hits the deck hard. Like he's been shot with a sniper rifle. The thing is, it just sounds to me like this Jake Paul is going around, and it's it, he's like picking people that he knows he can beat, which, again, is a smart thing. But he's picking people that aren't fighters. Now, Jake Paul's obviously competing to try and beat... Uh, he's competing solely for boxing and training for boxing, should I say, sorry. So he's training solely for boxing. And these other people sound like they're doing other... They're training for other things at the same time as well. So their full focus isn't on that. You're right, but um, Askren's the perfect opponent for him. Because Askren, first of all, he, he does have a decent following within MMA. He, he talks a lot of shit. So the, the shit talk between them is going to be great. And he's okay. not a striker. He's not. He's never been a striker. His striking looks shit. When you ever see him try and punch, you're like, oh, is this guy really a fighter? Like, he, It was his wrestling that made him good at MMA. So it's the perfect yeah, opponent yeah. for Jake Paul. But still, even though he's not a great striker, he is a, a world-class athlete who's been fighting his whole life. Look 